Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do a reading. I um I finished all the star signs readings and I thought I haven't done a karma soulmate reading this week. So I'm going to get a soulmate reading out because I feel like at the moment there's so much movement in all the signs. I can feel it. I can feel it starting to happen. And I know there are people already saying to me on the internet that people have come back that were supposed to come back and they've met people that they feel are the person that they're meant to be with. So um, I wanted to do a reading about that. So let's see. So we're asking for a karma soulmate twin flame reading here. All right. Okay. So the first card we've got out here is the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles talks about working on something with someone. Behind that you have the Six of Wands, which is the card of victory, and behind that the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords. So there is sort of a victory moving away from a third party here. Um, some sort of energy where someone's moved away from somebody who they were either with um, could be if you're waiting just for somebody who's currently in a relationship, then I'd say they've made the move here because we have the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands. So that definitely tells me they're moving away. And the Three of Pentacles here um, in this deck has three people in the card. So I think you're dealing with someone who's moved away from a karmic relationship. So if that's what you're waiting for, then I'd say that that is what's going on here. Okay, so it could be someone from your past because the first card we have out is the Six of Cups. And as you know, this talks of nostalgia, reminiscing, talks about things from your past, childhood, childhood memories, childhood, all the goods and bads of childhood. Um, but it also talks of past relationships, things that have gone past. So it's very likely that you're looking at some sort of karmic past partner somebody from your past that you're expecting to come back here i sort of thought that in the beginning because i think that the person you're meant to be with is in a relationship okay so we have the eight of wands here very nice because this talks a very quick moving energy it's also about the arrows of love so maybe cupid has struck your your potential partner here uh, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> so we do have um, a new start in love and romance. Um, this is a cup that's being offered to you here, but we'll get some more information as we're going. Okay, possibly by a King of Cups. So if some of you are waiting for someone, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but more so a person who's ready to offer love. This person has a lot of love here. Um, sometimes they can come across as being a little bit cool, but it's only because they're sort of in charge of their emotions. But they're definitely ready to share something with you here. Okay. Now, the Four of Cups talks about being bored and perhaps not being interested in taking a relationship. This is quite funny because these same few cards came out for one of the other readings. Um, sometimes this is about somebody not wanting a cup that's being offered or it's not the right sort of cup. But we'll do a recap as we get to the end. This is about also closing out a cycle. This is the world card. So you could be dealing with someone who lives at a distance as well um, or another part of the world. But this is about you closing out a cycle here. Could be closing out singledom, you know, having a relationship. Um, but you're having to toss up here whether to move forward with this or not. And there definitely is a strong feeling of that moving forward there because of the this Four of Cups energy. Keep going here. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. The fire sign, this person may be a fire sign, they may be a water sign, they may be a combination of both. You could have two people here, mostly unlikely, but I'd say it's a combination. But this person that's coming in feels really confident, really um, feels really good about this offer that they're giving you. Now don't forget this can flip-flop too, the energies in these. They're only general readings, so they're for everybody here. This is a person who's tossed up whether to come forward. But also I think you're going to toss up whether to move forward with them or not. 
I'll get the energy a little bit more. We do have a King of Swords here. So this person who's coming forward is coming forward to share a truth with you. They want to tell you something that you didn't know. Wow, beautiful reading. Okay, and we do have the Hierophant at the end. So this is about something that's stable. It's a relationship that wants to go places here. Um... I can't, it's funny isn't it it's a really straightforward reading um i often think you know i only put extra cards out if i'm really sort of floundering on what that really means but i can tell you here there is somebody here who's coming back for your from your past who has left a karmic relationship or a partnership that they were in that wasn't serving them now this could be a water sign or a fire sign, but it could just be a very emotional, passionate person. They're coming forward to offer you love. Now it's happening very quickly because I have the Ace of Wands here. So, you know, for me, that's a very fast moving energy. Now one of you or both of you is closing out a cycle here. So for them, it could be closing out the cycle because they finally decided to move forward from their relationship. It could be you closing out the cycle because you're you know, in a place where you feel very independent. Could be both of you closing out something because you're meeting up with one another. The thing is, I do have the Two of Pentacles, which talks about, you know, tossing up options, wondering which way to go. And with the Four of Cups here, it looks like you perhaps you aren't going to accept this or it's not going to be quite right for you at the moment. You know, I look at this and I think this person might want marriage and you might be like, whoa, hang on a second. You know, when I wanted to be with you before... You walked away or you ghosted me or you left me for someone else and now you want marriage? I'm not ready for that. Like, let's take this slowly. Let's just sort of move on this very gradually. How about we start with dating and start all over again? That's the feel of the Four of Cups here. This offer may be something that they're offering that's very serious and very full on and it may not be what you want at this time it could be the other way around where you want the stability but they're saying hey let's just take it slowly and you want to move fast on it but both of you aren't quite on the same page here so i'm just going to have a look at this four of cups first and see why this offer is not reciprocated because you've manifested it huh Okay, so you're a bit worried about this person, whether this relationship they've walked away from is still in the picture here. So I think for some of you, perhaps this person has walked away from a relationship where they still have responsibilities, maybe children, and you're worried about whether they are serious about committing to you because of their family responsibilities. That's the first one. Um, definitely divine gui divinely guided. This is about you closing out a cycle here too. Okay, so maybe when they come forward, you're not quite ready to take this relationship on because you're dealing with other things at the moment and you want to work through those first. You're definitely going to move forward on this, definitely. Um, but it's sort of like you need a period.